In tonight's coverage of the Pro Volleyball Federation on Sunday, the league leading Atlanta Vibe had their league best five match win streak snapped by Columbus. But they won't have to wait long for the rematch from Gas South Arena tonight. It's round two between the Vibe and the Fury, and we are ready to go. Hi, everyone. Andy Demetric, Keely Evelyn, great to have you with us, Keely. The Fury have had to persevere through a lot of injuries in the first half of the season, but Vibe head coach Todd Dagenet believes they may have the most talented roster in the Pro Volleyball Federation. They showed a glimpse of that on Sunday with that four-set win. So much so, Atlanta Vibe is number one in the league in blocks and digs. Columbus came out playing hard, out block, out dug. Atlanta ready to go again today. So tight each of the matches ready to start. And it also snapped a four match fury losing streak. Now the setters no secret tonight. Tori Stringer began the season with the vibe two weeks ago. Delta Columbus but she has quickly found her form in her new home. 
a career night, 51 assists. Story Stringer has only played two matches with Columbus, has two double doubles. Stepping in under a coach she's played for in the past. We will get to that later, but Stringer knows the teammates across the net, ready to go with her new set of teammates. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, it is now Marley Monserrat's show to run. 50 assists for the night. Monterey has that defensive background with some beach volleyball. Waited for her time to get the start and never looked back. Does it on the defensive side. Got, it has the consistency and the connection with her teammates. Monterey, a leader on the court. Fury trying to move above 500 with a win tonight. The Vibe trying to preserve their spot atop the Pro Volleyball Federation standings. The Fury and the Vibe. And our first serve is coming up next. I'm a big deal, I got it like that. I did it again, who told you that I was finished? Fresh off the plane with a new money buddy. My hair stay laid and you know I get paid. Hundred dollar bills, I got racks on the way. I'm making them big moves, I won't stay quiet. Five foot six, but I feel like a giant. I got the source, I am the supplier. I can make them boys sing like the inner choir. I'm on top and I'm taking it higher. NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we are only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. Arena tonight, Atlanta versus Columbus. They had to wait two months to finally meet in this Pro Volleyball Federation schedule. They only had to wait about 72 hours for the rematch as we see Keeley's keys to the match. You know Stringer loves to go fast in that set of position. She has two middles to run that offense. Go ahead and do it. For Columbus, you also have to find number seven, Lazariva, the right side. Lee Edmond on the outside accounted for 61% of the kills for Atlanta, find them, make the other player stop you. For Atlanta, you have to set your middle each set, but the difference is you can't start with it because Columbus knows that's what you like to do. So you gotta mix it up a little bit, start on the pin, work your way in, and then it's got to be an Atlanta block party. Columbus out blocked you last match three days ago. You gotta do the same here in Atlanta. Yeah, Todd Dagenet told us his team needs to get more touches at the net. They allowed a season high attack percentage in that four set defeat on Sunday. As Columbus winds it up, the serve from Drexel, and we're underway with a service air. Both coaches encourage their players to attack strong on that service line. So right off the bat, that one was sailed long, but you're going to see that type of aggression. To beat a team twice, you got to go for it. And we talked with Columbus head coach Angel Perez, and he said the control on the service line, a big ingredient in that four-set win. Lazareva pushes it over. Tight set. And a layout dig. Member Mena soft over the block. That's reset. Once more, member Mena. That slowed at the net, but it finds a soft spot and down. Lekator member Mena, the outside hitter from Pitt, getting the start again. She can absolutely jump out of the gym. You can see the strategy starting at the pin. Two sets by Monterey going outside to Memba. And Todd Dagenet said they have to be very intentional in setting those outsides. 
And a point for the Vibe on the violation at the net to make it 3-0 Atlanta. Atlanta knows what they have to do to adjust, but at the same time, also Columbus knows the adjustments. Need to, it's two, three days down the road. You're professional. Who can adjust quickest? Kelly Fanning, a team-high 13 aces, pounds that into the net. And that's an astute point. There is no time for any strategic overhaul. It's about who can execute their scouting report better from match one to match two. Monterey with a quick set and put down by Yela Hashiva. Yela Hashiva was in the middle. She was the quietest attacker, if you will, on Sunday. But you can see we need to get the middles going, work it. Yela Hashiva with the kill. You know, this match features the top two picks in the Pro Volleyball Federation draft. Asia O'Neill, who got turned away at the net. And Yella Hasheva selected one spot behind her. Hence, Monterey feeds member Meta again. Drops the hammer for the Vibe point, and it's 5-1 Atlanta. That's a good matchup for Atlanta Vibe. You have Legator member Mena on the outside with Stringer and the setter. In the one-on-one -on -one situation, member Mena says thank you. Played last season in Italy, second year pro. 5-7. And she can absolutely scrape the Raptors with her vertical. Edmund the dig from the back. Lasa Reva trying to go cross court, trying to be dumped over by O'Neill, but into the net. And another strong start to the opening set for Atlanta. Now remember on Sunday, Keeley, they led the Fury 7-2 before the Fury found their bearings and took the opening set. But a 6-1 start as Lazareva will get set to serve. And one of the best Libros in the nation, Morgan Hens, a beautiful bump set delivery to her right side now, side now with that point. And preseason all-league Morgan Hens, the former Stanford Cardinal. And to get a look at Todd Dagenet, Vibe head coach watching on Lazareva on the serve. Soft over the block and unable to be punched over as Courtney Lush is able to get the side out. Megan Courtney Lush back-to-back -back blocks to close out that four-set win on Sunday. Nice layout. You recognize where the tip shots are. After watching video, you, you know where you're going with that first open shot. Monterey with the back set. Line covered well. And do we have an inadvertent horn as play is held up? Up official, I'm sure, is as perplexed as we are. That's all right. I'm ready to watch Asia O'Neill back on the service line. If you remember <laughs> with that national championship game, she's a serving middle that knows how to play back row defense, coming up with major kills in that national championship game, now playing as a pro. And so indeed an inadvertent buzzer, so we'll replay the point, 6-2. As O'Neill winds it up, member Mena off platform. Ooh. And what a swing from the back row for the points. You could hear that echoing through the concourse from Reagan Cooper. It's all about finding your right fit, your setter connection. Reagan Cooper played in three different universities, now settling in as a pro. That back row power is just insane. Was third team All-American at Kansas last year and coming off a team high 24 points in that win off the block and down for the Vibe side out to make it 7-3. Yelhashova on the slide attack looking nice. It's a low ball causing movement in the block. She ended up with one going line still off the arms. Got across Edmund, her first swing from the pin. Slowed up, now swatted over. Hands laying out. Oh, and she threw a dime on that dig to Edmund. Are you kidding me? The delivery, Hens is just a baller, man, giving it to Edmund on the kill. Man, she teed that up perfectly for Leah Edmund, the preseason all-league outside hitter. Five-point vibe lead, make it four as Lush, the veteran, gets the tool and the point. You can see Courtney Lush recognizing I got the setter Monterey on me. So going off the hands, not trying to work that cross court where Hens is just chilling back there, goes off the hands, gets the tool. 
Toria Stringer on the service line. They're in opposing colors inside Gas South Arena. She puts that into the net. And what emotions must be churning through Tori Stringer. She was one of the first signees for the Vibe. And then as often happens when you play professional volleyball, Keeley, sometimes another player just is able to deliver more consistency in the coach's mind. And all of a sudden, you don't have a place anymore. But they wanted to make sure that she did find a place. And Angel Perez, her former coach in Puerto Rico, was absolutely more than willing to entertain that conversation. And I love it what Coach Dagenet said. Both of these setters, Monterey Stringer, should be starters. So finding your home, finding the right position, by getting on the court as you develop this league is very important. So Stringer running a great show, it's getting it going today. Back set, Lassa Reva goes deep, but it is long. One thing you enjoy watching Lassa Reva, so even after that miss hit, she took responsibility. This is maturity. She's like, you going to know what, guys? Pat her chest. I got that one. That was a great set. On a Lassa Reva, 10th year pro from Russia. Team high 23 points against the Fury on Sunday. Another slide covered well by Courtney Lush. Pushed over, but long. And now two in a row from the Fury to make it a two-point margin in our first set. Both outside attackers for Fury can hit that inside angle shot extremely hard. That's not going to be the last kill we'll see from the night going that sharp. And off the redirect, La Sereva gets the side out. Columbus in that win on Sunday. Keeley tied a season high with a 41% kill percentage. They were certainly able to find the angles and swing with purpose against a very good Atlanta defense. Coach Perez, uh, being a former setter himself, encourages that fast-paced offense, forced in the middle is where you're slightly, if you're moving forward, like we saw Stringer just do, slightly forward in their momentum, reversing the ball back to give your hitter a best-case scenario one-on-one. -on -one. And Sam Drexel with a dot, as you see it on the bolt six. Eight serving ten. Quick set and swatted down. Shelly Fanning chopping it over the double block. As a setter, you work the accordion game. You either start in, work wide. You can see vibes starting wide, working their way in. Fanning getting some action. Nice set. Shelly Fanning, double digit points. Her last four matches only had two. In the first nine matches, she has started to stabilize things in the middle for Todd Dagenet. Service air gives it back to the Fury, 11-9 Atlanta. Drexel, the second-year pro. Lasareva <laughs> winds what? up and crushes it. Oh, did you see that angle, Andy? Yes. Come on, Lazareva, giving it sharp. Guys, this is about as sharp as you can get. Even Age O'Neill, one of the best blockers in our nation, not able to even go jump in on that shot. Olympian in your house. That is a quick wrist by Ana Lazareva, who's had six double-doubles since being activated by the Vibe back on Valentine's Day, and the A's pushes the Vibe lead to four. And if you remember from the previous graphic that we saw, the score is so tight that these matches are decided only by a couple points. So any run you can create on the service line is extremely important. Team high 14th ace for Fanning. Covered well from the back by Edmund. Tight set. Fury trying to regroup. Flying from the back, that one wide though. That was teed up for Eden. We've seen her on those back row attacks pound him down all season long. But that swing was errant and the side out to the Fury. That's the right idea. She was going straight for the line. Only missed it by inches, but we're going to see a lot more back row attacks by Edmund today. Another service error as that one was overcooked by Cooper. And it is important, Keeley, for this league-leading Vibe team to capture that first set because they're one in four this year when losing the first set. Eight no when they win. Monterey, Lacator, member Mena, cross court and down. Member Mena 
with a seam is going to come up with a kill, taking that power deep corner shot. And the vibe, first to 15 on the third kill of the set by Lekator member Meta, 15-10 vibe in the first. NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we're only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. What do you got, man? Uh, I think there was a 20 on one pillar, and there wasn't on the other for Grace Cleveland. What do I win? Now, Vibe 15-10 over the Fury here in the first set. Very sharp star for Todd Dagenet's team. Based on what he told us in pregame, how have you seen them execute well to open up this five-point edge? I really like the passing game. You only miss a couple serves, but running the ball in system and setting the outside to get the game going really set things off. And Monterey's connecting with both middles. So if you have five attackers going, all can hit and produce offense, how are you going to stop one of them? One thing he also told us, and it hasn't quite materialized yet, as that one clipped some fingers at the tape and the side out to the Fury is he said they need to match the transition game of Columbus. That's one area where the Fury excel. That blocking touch, a nice kill by Courtney Lush on the outside, but the blocking touch that Fury has, huge block slowing down that transition middle attack working for him. Oh, dumped on two, but punched over. Rally continues. The feed, La Sariva gets it down. <laughs> that all started with a setter dump picked up by Morgan yeah. Hentz to allow the rally to continue. Finally for a right back put away kill by La Sariva. Morgan Hentz, one of the best defensive players in the Pro Volleyball Federation. She was right on it on that setter dump. And now the vibe stress the lead back to five, 16 to 11. Lekator member Mena set to serve. That's definitely an advantage. You think about football when you know, know a quarterback so well. With Hence, she knows Stringer so well. Mm -hmm. You practice against each other. You know the Tennessees saw Stringer going up for the slam dump and came through with the dig. Up high and down hard. Line shot for the side out. Caitlin Horde, the second year pro from Penn State and Nebraska. Coach Perez encourages this type of offense. Go fast, go low. Ready for it, getting up is Horde. We had five kills, four blocks in the win over the Vibe. Stringer to serve. She was traded back on March 13th for a pair of future first round draft picks. And another inadvertent buzzer, I do believe. That has both Angel Perez to your left, Todd Dagenet to your right. <laughs> Coach Dagenet. Understandably a little perturbed. I think the first inadvertent buzzer had him perplexed. Now this has him perturbed. Fair to say, Coach Dagenet just jumped out because he knew he had the advantage in that point, so he was a little more animated at this stoppage. So again, no play. 
He'll re -cue the serve from Stringer. 16-12 vibe here in the first set. You know, sometimes in your house, like lights just kind of flicker on and off for no reason. Right. I feel like we had the same thing going on at the scorer's table. I usually, I'm a pocket dialer. Like that's where exactly. technology yeah. gets me. I just, that pinky slides, you're like, oh, hey, mom. That was a, a pocket buzz, <laughs> as it were. Edmund down for the point. Vibe, we're waiting for that. It's Edmund's first kill. We saw the middle back attack just taking a little left. This one had the line shot, taking it with authority, Edmund. Edmund had 17 kills against the Fury, nearly missed a double-double with nine digs. Former two-time SEC Player of the Year at Kentucky. Overpass, opportunity for the Vibe. Yes. Reaching on the quick set and the kill from Fanning. That's just chess right there. You run the middle as a front row player with your setter, clamps both blockers, tip and right, open court. And the Vibe once again extend the lead to six, force the timeout from Angel Perez and the Fury. Well, Shelly Fanning, the 6-2 middle blocker, as we had said, double-digit points in the last four matches for the Vibe, had 10 kills, two aces, three blocks on Sunday. She's somebody that may not be top of mind when you think about the offensive firepower of this Vibe when you have Edmund and member Mena, Yelahashiva and Lasareva and Hens. But boy, she has been very good stabilizing things through the middle for Todd Dagenet. And I think with Setter Monterey, their connection keeps improving. It just continues to know where each other are at, out of system balls, forcing the balls back. I'm loving that connection improved throughout the season. Demetra Keeley Evelyn back inside Gas South Arena. 18 to 12 vibe here in our opening set. As they look to avenge that four set defeat on Sunday at Nationwide Arena. Lush off platform. Bumps it across the stringer. Reverses it. Well covered by Lasareva, but a couple of vibe to the floor. Can't keep it up. And the side out for Courtney Lush. Lush in her last rotation in the front row was placed on the right side rotationally. Stringer knew she needed to open that side of the court to keep the blocker honest. Nice job to get that quick side out. Seventh year pro, the Olympic alternate in 2021. And as Fury fans will tell you, the native of the state of Ohio. Kettering zone, Megan Courtney Lush. High ball, Edmund waits on it. And does she dot the line? No. Point Fury. You can see that Edmund has watched video. She's trying to do the hard extreme shots, only missing it by a couple inches, but trying to kiss that line and get the ball where the defender is not. Now Todd Dagenet, Angel Perez come over to the up official. They're looking for a touch at the net to see if there was a block mm. touch because that ball was clearly out of bounds. Yeah, Boltzik certainly confirmed it was out of bounds. 18-14 as it stands right now. And Coach Perez wasn't too happy because it was outside of that seven second mm -hmm. challenge rule. I'm not seeing any finger motion. What about you? Yeah. You don't want to know my track record <laughs> when we play uh, amateur replay officials. But yeah, I don't see any kind of ripple of the finger by Horde there. I think Co Coach Perez is going to come out happier. Mm -hmm. Say, go ahead, use that challenge call, <laughs> and now you're only left with one. Call stands, 18-14 vibe. And Courtney Lush on the service line. It's 
Stringer dishes to Courtney Lush. That slowed at the net. Now here's member Mena off speed. That's pancaked up by Leon. Oh, and a block. The double block on the swing from Cooper. Point five. Cooper. Return to sender. Cooper was testing her power against P Fanning's penetration. Fanny came up with that clamp block. Team leading 29th block for the fifth year pro from Baylor, Shelly Fanning. 19-14 vibe. Well, that was emphatic. I guess one of the better rookies in the league. And there's a second <laughs> straight block. Lasareva and Fanning once again turning away Cooper. So the first block took momentum on your side. Now you solidified it. When you go twice in a row against one of the best attackers in the league, Fanning's feeling it for her team and bringing the energy to the Vibes court. Ooh, power through the block didn't work the first time. Definitely did not work in the second time. Oh, and a goodness. third straight block. This one from Edmund. Keys of the game working for you. <laughs> this is the Atlanta block party that Vibe needs to pull off a win today. Edmund doing it up, Fanning with the close. That's some team fight right there. Yeah, Fanning's been all over it now. A 21-14 Vibe lead. Overpassed, and that's thumped through by Fanning. It has been the Shelly Fanning show over the last two minutes. Clicking right there. And you'll take an overpass three in a row, basically two blocks with an assist. Now going down for the overpass. And Angel Perez has to call another timeout for the Fury 22 to 14. Shelly Fanning coming up 10 kills, three blocks on Sunday versus the Fury. Fanning already with five points in this first set. Atlanta Vibe hitting 360 efficiency for the team. So that's kills minus errors over attempts, 360. For Columbus, they're hitting 210. So yeah. offensively, trying to get something going. Atlanta came out, watched a lot of video, Coach Dazene said. Watched some video, back on track, running a great show both on the defensive side and getting multiple hitters involved offensively. Like we said, trying to avenge that four set loss. Fury at Nationwide Arena on Sunday. Not only did that snap Atlanta's five-match win streak, which was a Pro Volleyball Federation high, it snapped Columbus's four-match losing streak. Fury now five and five, trying to get some separation with Grand Rapids and inch up into third place in the Pro Volleyball Federation standings. And I think everybody around the league would acknowledge, Keely, that with Columbus's injury issues mostly behind them, and then the acquisitions of Barsh Hackley and Panovich, second half of the season. This could be a really dangerous Fury team. You might want to get them when you can against this Columbus side. This match is extremely important for Vibe to pull off a win because you're trying to leave a statement throughout, hoping to be in the final four to go at that a million, million dollars. But as Coach Jasney said, we learned. We lost, but we learned. I think we got a Michelle Barch Hackley fan wearing that <laughs> Illinois hooded sweatshirt, the former Fighting Illini, who made her Fury debut on Sunday. Lasariva punches it up. Now Edmund cranks it, but it is long. Edmund was over that block on that jump on her extension, just taking another one long, but you see it's almost the same distance. If that, if the court was not 30 by 30, but 35 by 35, <laughs> Edmund be, be having about three kills by now. She has been the most consistent hitter for Todd Dagenet's club. Evanya Ortiz. Ready to cut it loose, and that is in for an ace. Oh, <laughs> top spin special. When you come in to serve and you get an ace, that's how you can take back momentum. Building for this set and also for next set. Nice top spin between the seam. Do it again. Coming up back-to-back -back titles in the Puerto Rican League where she was coached by Angel Perez. Played collegiately at Hofstra. Ready to cut it loose again. Quick set. And down. Shelly Fanning. 
You know, she's a three-time All-American, comes in with an experience, but she's taken her game to another level. Finding open shots, power doesn't always work for you. The intelligence to change up your shot, cutting it inside. Fanning another pretty one. And no stranger to Angel Perez herself. She's played professionally in Puerto Rico. Did that for the past four seasons. Like a tour member, Mena can't muscle that through the block, but on the joust, the point to the vibe. As they inch closer to a first set victory, it's now set point. When you go on a 5-0 winning streak, you get comfortable. Sometimes you have to lose to now make the adjustments. Vibe's coming out very strong today. The dig by Edmund, member Mena. And that'll do it for the first set. Member Mena, too much strength on that swing. And helping close the door on an emphatic first set victory for the Vibe. 25-16 in set number one back from Gas South Arena after this. Day. I think of all the little girls in the stands right now. Dreams coming true, not only for these professionals, but the young little girls in the crowd. Team. Maybe one day I'll be out there too. This one slammed right into the block. Sally Fanning ends it here in the A. Welcome home. Devon win it in straight sets and move to three and a Five claim the one set to none lead over Columbus and uh, Atlantic Healy played like a team that uh, and that lost to Columbus didn't sit well with them on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, you can see the energy and fight. 15 team kills together. Columbus only with nine. Columbus has zero blocks, which is rare, but Atlanta's running a great show and Atlanta added four blocks leaving Columbus only hitting .009. And this is coming off a Columbus performance on Sunday in which they tied a season high in kill percentage and Atlanta allowed for the Vibe a season high in attack percentage. So it all starts defensively with the Vibe and their turnaround from Sunday. Coach Dagenet's got to be happy with that first set, but can you put a complete match together is the question. Remember, Mena floated, make that Edmund floated across. 
And the Fury claimed the opening point of set number two. That's who they needed to get going, the right side for Columbus. Drexel coming out that first rotation, trying to get the pressure off of the outside because Fanny's doing an excellent job with that close. And Sam Drexel, former first team All-American in Washington in 2021. The bump set and a reach for it at the tape. And a free ball now for the Fury. And that one it catches a line for the Fury point. Crafty play there. O'Neal's middle name should be ready. I'm <laughs> always ready. O'Neal in that transition, it was a semi-blind set for setter Stringer, just a forcer back recognizing that tip was open on the throwback. Asia O'Neal earned Pro Volleyball Federation Player of the Week honors the other day, hit 453 last week as he returned from an injury absence. Off speed, well read. And Edmund can't keep that up. A 3-0 start for the Fury. And the kill from Cooper. This is pro volleyball, so you everyone's in control of your game. If you lose a set, it doesn't matter. You learn quickly, move on. You can see Columbus adjusting, running a nice fast-paced offense to multiple attackers. How about the play of Reagan Cooper? I can't say it's come out of nowhere, but she has been performing at a level that I don't think many around the league expected of her. As we get another look at member Mena thumping that down for the vibe side out. But I love what Angel Perez told us before the match that Reagan Cooper still does not know her ceiling. She could be a true six rotation outside hitter, could have been really in college, and now beginning to showcase it with the Fury. We saw a couple of those at the end of the first set. The block from the vibe, this one from member Mena. And you can see the rotational shift. So Mena is going against the right side Drexel. Early in the first set, we saw the matchup with Stringer. This is a shift that Columbus has done. Remember Mena 5-7, but a 40-inch vertical when she was at Missouri as that one finessed through the double block by Lazareva. Five point to make it 3-2. Lazareva went up, looking like she was going to hit. Defenders on their heels, change up the shot. You don't even make a layout move because you're ready for it. Leon was sitting back on that line. Number Mena, sharp angle. Kept up by Cooper. And now down the line, the point by Drexel. Drexel getting some action. She has the matchup with member Mena in front of her. Edmund is a taller block for Vibe. Mena holds her own in the front row, but Drexel, that's two kills already in this second set coming out Sw with the rotation shift. Yeah, swinging with force. Reverse, Lazareva. Well covered by Courtney Lush. Another quick set. That's bumped up by Leon. Member Mena steps into it. Ooh. And finally, <laughs> the kill by Cooper. Cooper just wanted to finish the point. Took it inside power shot. Watch how she turns that hand down. Going off Yahashiva's hands. Reagan Cooper, like we said, her fifth double-double of the season Sunday versus the Vibe. 22 kills, added 14 digs. Oh, Edmund taking flight from the back. Edmund and Lazareva had 61% of the kills. In the first set, Edmund only had one kill, and Atlanta crushed it. If Edmund wakes up with that back row attack to start her game, it's going to be lights out. Yeah, that, that may arguably the mo be the mo most impressive thing of all about that first set victory for the Vibe is that they did that with Leah Edmund not really front and center in the offense. That was turned away. Lasareva sprawling out. Edmund wants more. That's blocked. Member Mena keeps it up. Dumped over on two. <laughs> Marley Monterey. You can only get away with setter dumps about four times a match. Monterey uses it at the ideal point in transition. Front row, recognizing Ooh. middle O'Neal with the smirk coming down off of that, was ready for the <laughs> back row attack. Hard to catch Asia O'Neal flat footed. Slow down the tape on the swing by Cooper. Chance for a reset and O'Neal. Lasareva.
Cooper, that's not there. Overpass, though. Stringer to O'Neal, and that's returned back for the five point. If Marley Monterey, the center, blocking Asia O'Neal, the middle blocker. If you remember, O'Neal tried to do the same shot. This is the mental adjustment. Monterey steps in with her left hand to avoid the throw back to the left by O'Neal. And now the Vibe take their first lead of the set and quickly tied right back. <laughs> yes, on that shot. So O'Neal's going behind the setter, recognizing the tip player coming over it's Monterey that's open court throwing that shot nice job O'Neal Monterey all across to member Mena off the block and down member Mena swinging with force while you got it you got to use it you had the lean back set delivery by Monterey to create just a little motion in the block member Mena saw her line took advantage Sixth kill of the match for Lekator member Mena. Vibe up 7-6. Stringer feeding Drexel. That's blocked. Two of the best blockers for Atlanta Vibe. You have Yel Hashabak getting the close. Edmund with the setup. <laughs> that's a wall you're looking at. Vibe coming up with another Atlanta block party. Yeah, that's a frightening sight. Magda Yel Hashiva, NC all-time record holder in the rally scoring era in career blocks. And now the lead stretches to two for the Vibe. It is all about runs. Member men I got that killed down the line. Now creating a run on the, her service game for Fury, they're in a two-hitter situation. You still have O'Neal in the front row. Do you run her in front? I don't know if you go again at Edmund. Serving to Leon, and this time tooled for the point. Well done by Megan Courtney Lush, former two-time national champion with the Nittany Lions. You knew O'Neal was going to take the block. Nice job off the line with that motion in the block by Courtney Lush. Well, Courtney Lush. Not only a veteran, but so versatile. Outside hitter. She was named best libero at the FIVP Nations League in 2019. Can do it all for Angel Perez. Courtney Lush is definitely one to watch. So she has 17 on your screen, playing outside. Her ball control in the back row, if you remember, that deep corner shot by Lazareva. Vibes right side. She picked it up two in a row. That's a power hit. That's her defensive game that she adds to her offensive power. Eight serving nine, Edmund steps into it, pounds it down. There's a switch in Leah Edmund that goes, okay, I'm not happy with, <laughs> I, mi I missed those shots, but now let me go ahead and take control of my game, going high through the seam, right at the chest of Cooper. Cooper unable to control it, 10-8 vibe. Leon with the bump set, Lush winds up. Controlled well by the vibe. Oh, and tamped over the double block as they go off speed and Edmund playing that accordion game and playing it well. And you remember where people play on defense when you're going against a team saying, oh, I got the right back sitting line. Edmund knows her shot. There's no thinking involved. You know exactly where you're going with your tip shot because you just played the other team three days ago. Six point for Edmund hitting 38%. The vibe stressed the lead to three. That's pushed deep by Lush. Free ball here for the Fury. Into the net instead. The timing was thrown off there. That was Nicoletta Perovic, one of their new acquisitions, but couldn't get a good swing on it and make it 12-8 vibe. I did like the idea of going to Perovic on that right back. She tried to do a little roll shot, just not clearing the net. If it was just a hit a little harder, it was clearing. Yeah, Nicoletta Perovic. Bottom of your screen on the swing. That's controlled by Lasareva. Lasareva <laughs> winds up down the line, puts it down. <laughs> oh, how fun is this, Andy? A good volleyball. I mean, the only thing better than calling good volleyball is actually playing. But I'm too old for it. So, <laughs> Lasareva, go ahead. Take that line shot for the kill. Ana Lasareva is a flamethrower. Timeout, Columbus. 13-8 vibe here in the second.
real pro volleyball. Have you seen the product that's out there? Have you seen the athlete? I'm, I don't even know if there's words to explain how I'm feeling right now. I'm just so excited and grateful to be able to do this right now. Well, it's definitely really cool to be able to be playing professional volleyball. It's really cool to be able to be a part of the first year or something. No one takes for granted the opportunity that is here and present for us. Kids and people in general are really excited about pro volleyball. I think it's the first time that it's actually happening and that it's done very well. And your jersey, I hope. Is your coach okay with this? Yeah, no, okay, good, good. <laughs> and that it's so accessible to everyone. I wish I had something like that. It's a really cool feeling to know that they have professional volleyball to come watch. It's about making an environment where you're happy to do what you're supposed to do. So that we build a, a journey and a path for future generations. Andy Demetra, Keely Evelyn back with you at Gas South Arena. The vibe of shaking off a slow start in the second set. Now leading the Fury 13 to 8. And as the Fury try to steady themselves off the timeout. Courtney Lush trying to do that, wow. and it sails long for the side out. To go for that shot, you have to stay open and use all your power with a hand shot to cut it inside. That is just beauty to even think about that shot. You know you're good, Courtney Lush. <laughs> that is not exactly breaking news that <laughs> yeah. Megan Courtney Lush is a skilled player. Lasareva with another laser. Right at Stringer. Obviously, everybody concerned for Tori Stringer as we look at it again. Ooh. There's definitely a lot of love between Stringer and her teammates, given a high five going under Lazareva, just making sure Stringer is okay. Stringer is a great leader. She just needed to find her way to get that starting role consistent because she's one for this league to help push it. So the Lazareva kill makes it 14-9, to and when we caught up with Angel Perez before the match, you asked him, how does Tori Stringer fit your style? Because they were, were coach and player in the Puerto Rican League, won a, a league title. But I love Coach Pando's answer. He said, she fits my personality. Mm. Which, as a former setter himself, and Angel Perez, you place so much trust in your setter to run your offense, to run your system. The fact that he has somebody who's so like-minded and has that competitive twitch like Tori Stringer has, it's going to be fun to see how this offense will evolve now as Tori Stringer continues to settle in as the Fury continue to make some ground up here in the second set, 14-11 to 11 on the long swing. Coach Perez was manager of the year just two of his three season in Puerto Rico. And we asked, what's the secret sauce? How do you become that? He was like, you know what? I show my players a lot of love. Give them a safe environment to fight hard, make mistakes, and continue to learn and grow. You can see that now even in a comeback. Just when you thought they were down, you can see Columbus t continuing to fight. Shelly Fanning with the kill through the middle. 15-11 vibe. Panovich blocked. Fanning, member meta. Pick your poison. It has been a rough introduction for Nicoletta Perovic, one of their new signees, as she was sent back at the pin. Remember, Mene says, go ahead and try to set over me. Gets up, oh, elbows on that block. <laughs> Perovic will try again, change in speed. The line covered by Hens. Off the top of the net and down, fanning once more. You know in basketball when you just give like a head nod, you know somebody's going to go for an alley-oop or you make that move? You can see that setter middle connection just knowing Fanning was going to be up in transition Fanning took a step off turned and got the set by Monterey her setter one look at me Keely and you would know I neither threw nor put down an alley-oop but I understand the <laughs> the comparison I only did one of the tip shots no chance of dunking but <laughs> Jermaine O'Neal in the stands today watching his daughter could show us a thing or two oh he certainly can seated baseline here at Gas South Arena Reverse to Panovic and off the block and down. Nicoletta Perovic, her 16th year as a pro, the native of Montenegro, the opposite as we take a look at Jermaine O'Neal, former six-time NBA All-Star, but known around these parts as Asia O'Neal's dad. 
a proud girl dad right there, as you said. He was standing up in all the national championships game, cheering hard for his daughter, back to back. He was a first round draft pick in the NBA. His daughter, the number one overall pick in the Pro Volleyball Federation draft. So Asia has that in her pops. She was the number one overall pick. Jermaine had to settle for 17th. <laughs> yeah. When he turned pro out of Columbia, South Carolina. Do you get a pick where you sit then at Thanksgiving if you like got higher? And picks? also Asia's got a couple of national titles from her time with the Longhorns. So, oh yeah, I think she has the uh, the right of way now on family gatherings. <laughs> Service Air gives it back to the Vibe. 18-13, Atlanta on top. And Asia O'Neill's in your front row. So, yeah, Perovic on the outside. Vibe wanting to get a run, just missing that one long on the service game. Yeah, Fanny couldn't guide that into the corner. And now it'll be Perovic's turn to serve. Eight league championships in her career. Angel Perez says she's got a big arm signed March 14th. Coming off season spent in China and Italy. Popped up, unable to be put down by member Mene, but she gets the point off the block. Monterey got a perfect pass, leaned back, and then dished that out. That held O'Neal, causing a one-on-one -on -one opportunity going off the hands is like a door member Mene. Member of Pitt's first ever Final Four team in 2021. Stretches the Vime lead to 19-14. There was some dip on that serve from La Sareva. And Janasia Moore on her first swing, unable to get it down. That was blocked by Yerahashiva. When the ball is out of system and set tight, you're just testing the penetration. Yerahashiva owned the net with the hands over on the side of Moore. The number two pick in the Pro Volleyball Federation draft from San Diego, acquired in a trade by the Vibe. Vibe led 21-14 in the first, now up 20-14 in the second. Member Mene once again crushing it. Just too much smoke behind that swing. Just beautiful. And if you're a young setter, you watch Monterey, the lean back. That's just enough to hold O'Neill in the middle, giving Lugator member Mena a one on one opportunity. Keely, we spotlighted our setters in the open. Marley Monterey and Tori Stringer. Marley Monterey has been really sharp. A lot of precision in her setting. And a free ball now for the Vibe. Monserey unable to tap it over on two. Lasareva, <laughs> though, terminal swing from the back. <laughs> Morgan Hentz again, a beautiful set right inside, giving that open court a better cross court look because of the set delivery. High five right there. Lasareva walking off with that kill. Ana Lasareva with a seventh kill to go along with her eight digs. And bringing the Vime closer to a two sets to none lead. Overpass off the serve. Here's Edmund. Point Vibe. What's that song go? What you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> so yeah, Edmund now working it. What? She shifted to the left. Back row attack. Blockers have to think because you got Lazarevi you got to think about as well in the back row. Atlanta is lighting it up on this offensive side. And all of a sudden, a nine-point edge and off speed through the block for the point. O'Neal showing her craftiness. This will only get better. So this is only the third match that O'Neal and Stringer have played together, but that's like the perfect fit. You know, when you match your setter, O'Neal and Stringer just starting to connect. I, I know that's what has you so excited to watch. The Fury is that tandem of Stringer and O'Neal. O'Neal obviously has been a little more touch and go than she'd like in this inaugural season because of injuries. Stringer, recent acquisition, but once those two start connecting and developing that chemistry, there's still plenty of matches left in the regular season. Uh, that will be something to watch out there at Nationwide Arena. But now set point for the Vibe, 24-15 in the second. And it'll be an ace to close it out. Todd Dashney talked about controlling the service line better in the rematch tonight. They have certainly done that. And the ace produces a 25-15 second set victory for the Vibe, up two sets to none here in Atlanta.
love setting. Seriously, that's a roof. Day. I think of all the little girls in the stands right now. Dreams coming true, not only for these professionals, but the young little girls in the crowd saying, maybe one day I'll be out there too. This one slammed right into the block. Shelly Fanning ends it here in the A. Welcome home, Divine. Win it in straight sets and move to three and the Pro Collection Apparel today. Available exclusively at renathletics.com and provolleyballshop.com. It's a St. Patrick's Day edition. Yeah, we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day for tonight. It is volleyball night. Chasse gets a chance. Oh, she doesn't oh, miss. Namadur gets it. Good oh, Morgan a hand for the job she's done. Keeping the four clean. And a big play. Oh, no. Point Atlanta. That block landed just out of bounds. Bell and the Vegas thrill come back to life. NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we are only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. As we welcome you back to Gas South Arena, Andy Dumetric, Keita Evelyn, great to have you with us. The rematch from Sunday's four set Columbus win, but right now a fierce first two sets for the Atlanta Vibe. We said Atlanta would need Atlanta block party. Right now they have nine blocks, Columbus only with one. Atlanta is hitting 380 to Columbus 120. Offensively, just working. And then defensively on the block side, Atlanta looks amazing today. As Atlanta tries to keep its spot atop the Pro Volleyball Federation standings. As you see, they entered the night a half game ahead of Omaha. Columbus with that win on Sunday over the Vibe, snapped a four-mass losing streak, trying to once again pull level with Grand Rapids as they approach the midway mark of their regular season schedule. Still so much that can be decided, so much that can change on a weekly basis here in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Well, earlier tonight here at Gas South Arena, earlier this season, the Atlanta Vibe were a guest of the Atlanta United at Mercedes-Benz Stadium for one of their matches. So only fitting that the Atlanta Vibe return the favor to members of the Atlanta United. So they are very fortunate to welcome in Efren Morales, Nick Firmino, Luke Brennan representing Atlanta United as their special guests. Always love to see professional franchises support one another in this city. And earlier we saw Atlanta Vibe going to one of their yeah. games, so you love to see it. Coach 
Coach, I was Coach Colleen, President Colleen Craig, given a uh, thank you for coming invitation. I'm sure they're envious at the way that these five players can use their hands. And boy, they've been swinging with force in those opening two sets. We'll take a look at some of the stats as we get set for our third set in Atlanta after this. Day. I think of all the little girls in the stands right now. Dreams coming true, not only for these professionals, but the young little girls in the crowd saying, maybe one day I'll be out there too. This one slammed right into the block. Shelly Fanning ends it here in the A. Welcome home, Devon. Win it in straight sets and move to three and a As we welcome you back to Gas South Arena and our coverage tonight at the Pro Volleyball Federation on YouTube and wherever you may be watching. Andy Demetri, Keely Evelyn, Vibe, a two sets to none lead over the Fury. And what will it take for the, the Fury to start shifting the momentum back? This is not the team. And you see Raynell Jones on the court now to start this third set. What will it take for you know, the Fury to kind of get back in rhythm and look like the team that defeated the, the Vibe on Sunday? You're going to have to take even more risk on that service line. Legator member Mena led the way in kills. I thought Vibe did an excellent job 
getting the setter Monterey at the net, Monterey working it, setting different options. I just love the game she's doing, but yes, take risks. You have to get vibe out of system when you even have multiple attackers going at it and you don't know who to stop. And no sooner does she come on than Raynell Jones comes out, but Michelle Barsh Hackley is on the court to begin this third set. One of those acquisitions, middle of the month from Columbus. One goal with Team USA in 2020, was named best outside hitter of the Olympics, made her Columbus debut on Sunday, appeared in three sets, had one assist. See that veteran presence can energize the Fury. Will serve to start the third. And a rare overpass from Hans and put down for the Fury point and O'Neill. On cue right there, serve tough, take the risk. Coach Angel Perez knows that his team can do it. He encourages that type of environment, a fearless, you gotta go for it. If you wanna be a champion, you gotta go strong. So another serve for Perovic. Tight set, that one trickling along the tape, kept up by Lasareva. Member Mena tries to go soft over the block. Edmund got it blocked and sails it over the side. It's a strong start here for the Fury in set three. Switching up the block. I think Coach Perez out of a timeout, talking to his team, regather and reset. You can see the energy and fight elevated coming out in the third set for Fury. And the error by Perovic on the service line. The question is right now, can Vibe match this type of energy? Because you can't just walk over one of these teams in Pro Volleyball Federation. You've got to maintain that endurance all the way through. Yeah, there's no cruising to the finish line. Barsh Hackley, her first swing. Off the slide. Line well protected by Fanning. Member Mena has it in her sights. Leon with the dig. Once more, member Mena, and she is teeing off. That went right to Perovic, point vibe. Fantastic changeup on that set, bringing member Mena inside. You saw blocker go wide, Ooh. turning the line shot with some power on a great defender. Yeah, glad that caught the shoulder of Perovic. That was coming in hot to all. And that slide is punched down by O'Neal. There you go, that's the pass, Fury. You get setter stringer in system. We love to see that slide attack that elevates. I think she's ran a couple layups in her oh, pass. Yeah. You know, you got to, right? Going off of one foot right there, O'Neal. Little go behind. With the two-time national champion at Texas, Asia O'Neal. Reigning Pro Volleyball Federation Player of the Week. Her first honor, probably not her last. And probably not the last point we'll see from Magda Yelahashiva either. Yelahashiva ch changing it up, throwing a tip shot right around the block. Forcing off Monterey with the lean back. Just going around, hard ball to pick up if it doesn't have enough height. Well, tipped over, and that'll get the job done for Courtney Lush. A you know little what? off speed there to freeze the vibe. You know what's pretty amazing about these professionals? You're seeing a lot more tip shots than we saw in the last match on Sunday. It's one of those, we watch video, we see your tendency, I'm gonna work smarter, not harder. Yeah, there has to be an adjustment, even though it might be subtle, from both of these sides coming oh back. Watch out! <laughs> what a swing by member Mena. She is a sledgehammer at 5-7. Remember, Mena wasn't happy about her performance on Sunday, even to the point Allie Stringer, excuse me, Allie Linehan got back in the match to play outside. When you feel like your position might be taken, you elevate your game, Member Mena. I love it. Now, member Mena, though, couldn't get hands on that swing in the side out for the Fury to give them the 5 4 lead. Lekator Member Mena. Currently leads the vibe with 11 points. Unable to get the dig there, though. Pirovic took it right at the hands. That's a good shot coming out of the back row. String around the serve, sends it long. Interesting that both Montserrat and Stringer recorded season highs in assists in Sunday's match, the four-setter. 
So both acquitted themselves well, and we know that was one of the big subplots of that first meeting between the Vibe and Fury, but both players stepped up. Raynell Jones stepping high and putting it down. This is the depth of the bench Coach Perez is going to. You have Jones that can also add that power and fight. Just a high set delivery and the put away. Appeared in one set versus the Vibe on Sunday. Saw a lot of time earlier this season when Jones was out, and O'Neal rather was out. But another service error gives it back to the Vibe. You can see the risk taking. You have to encourage it. And as a player, when you know you're not scared of your coach's reaction, you have to settle in to your rhythm, get your game going. Will it be enough time? Columbus really has to show out here in this third set to stay alive. The back set slowed up by Edmund. Here's Lasareva. And that'll get down for the point. Ana Lasareva, so fluid, so powerful, so effective for Todd Dagenet. Watch how she hits at Jones, the moving middle, recognizing Jones would be a late, not get a pure setup, just a smart hit by Lasareva. Very cerebral, hard hitting veteran with her eighth point of the match. Ooh. Oh, and hands. Keeping it up. That's pushed over by member Mena. The bump set Jones from the standstill. The swing by Petovic. Hans now feeds Lasareva. Line shot covered by Leon. Barsh Hackley takes a swing. Free ball now for the Fury. Oh, what a set. That's blocked back. Joust at the net. Best rally of the night. Who's going to take it? And the quick set and down, Fanning. Fanning creating the distance, going away from the setter. Caused the block to stay on her inside. That's how you do it right there. Monterey saying, I know Fanning's up for it. Yeah, just going over the solo block of Jones. Great rally. Best of the night goes to the home team, 8-6-5. Make it 8-7 on the year. What I like, though, in that last rally is that when the hitters did not have it, they took the setter out of the offense, playing the first ball at the setter on each side. That's some smart volleyball mid-rally. Raynell Jones, former Maryland Terrapin, puts it in. Monterey the dig. Hands in rhythm to Edmund. Can't get that down. And what well, member Meta <laughs> flying in from the back. Able to be tracked down by Panovich. And tap long for the point. Oh, oh, started with that back row attack. Member Meta got the little overpass instead of going short. Watch this. She takes a deep. Fanning said, I see all red short at the net. There's open court to the deep. I'm going to go ahead and tip it there. Shelly Fanning double digit points now in five consecutive matches for the former Baylor Bear. You need a kill. You get a pass. Mm -hmm. How do you not go to O'Neal <laughs> right now? There she is. It's a low flat set, but it was handled well by the Vibe defense. Great dig by Monserey. Lasareva finds the seam. Lasareva, another laser. You watch enough video, you know your shots. Lazareva taking the inside cut. That wasn't even like a full finish of a sh of an attack. She just snapped that sucker to the hard inside cut. Float serve by Edmund. As the Vibe have opened up the three-point lead. Big swing there for the Vibe point. Asia O'Neal. That's what you call money right there. Asia O'Neal, that low flat set. You keep doing it. I love the connection. She is hard to stop. Six years playing at Texas. You got that extra COVID year. You got a red shirt year. What a champion you have on your team for Fury. Set the UT school record in career blocks. It just runs in the family. Your dad, Jermaine O'Neal, still holds the Indiana Pacers franchise record for blocks in a game. Different kind of block. Just solid, and to block a player like Legator member Mene, that with that type of low set, that set was under the antenna. It's hard to even get a setup. Yeah. That's how you come up with a kill. Nice speed on the set by Monterey to her outside. 
when you have Analasa Reva, Leah Edmond, Lekator member Mena, all dialed in like they have been tonight. And we see a block this time from Lekator. This has the look of a team that'll be hard to beat come May in the vibe. This is the best we've seen Mena play on this court. So killing it, you have 10 kills going up. You're touching balls at the net. You have two blocks. Member Mena is just showing up today, really wants to solidify herself in that starting lineup. She's earning it, totally. Twelve serve and eight here in the third. Set her dump. Lasareva with the cover ball. Oh. Member Mena once what? more. What? She is a one-woman highlight reel tonight. Oh, in her middle delivered a back set. Out of transition, out of system. Right there, Member Mena racking it up. Numero Otse getting wow. that 11th kill. Yeah, Shelly Fanning, how about that back set? Pulling that out of the back pocket. And the tool for the point, Michelle Barsh Hackley. Going off of Lazareva's hands, that's a, just a smart shot using her experience at will. Great kill. Began playing professionally in 2012. She's played in Puerto Rico, Germany, Italy, China, Turkey. Currently an assistant with the Ohio State Buckeyes. So great to see her trading the coaching whistle and suiting up one more time professionally. Big swing, does it catch a line? It does from Courtney Lush. Courtney Lush passes dimes as a passer Ooh. and then able to hit with such precision. That hand control, high top spin snap, caused that ball to drop in. Monterey pushes it up, La Sariva parried at the net. Bumped over tight. Edmund has to step into it. Not a full swing. Hence, member Mena going deep. Barsh Hackley laying out to keep it up. Swatted Ooh. down, kept alive by the Fury. We've had some battles at the net. Oh, but dumped into the net. You could tell Stringer wanted it. Just couldn't guide it over. Point to the vibe. That ball was either going straight down for a kill. You see Morgan Hens creeping on it just enough. Yep. I was like, ooh, that's a good time to use it, Stringer. It was right there. And Tori Stringer, you could tell by body language, Keeley, she knew it. Instead, the vibe with the point and the 14-10 lead. That's the beauty against uh, go, um, with going against your former team. You know what's worked for you in practice. You know those shots going for you. So right time to use it, just catching that from Stringer. O'Neal trying for the finesse shot. Hens is there. Lasareva loads up and gets the point. The vibe has, they've sped up that right back attack by Lazariva. It's a low set, great kill. And it forces the Columbus timeout. Vibe up 15-10 in the third. I lost the nail. That's why I'm like dumb, because I say all the, the wrong things. You know I'm screaming fabulous. Volleyball Federation, where every action carries the weight of passion and pride. There's a select group that rises above the rest. 23 athletes of the Pro Volleyball Federation are past or current members of the USA Women's National Volleyball Team. Each a testament to dedication, skill, and relentless pursuit of excellence. Pro Volleyball Federation, building champions and making dreams a reality. At any time, any team can win it here in the Pro Volleyball Federation. The higher the level, it means more power. Elecator member Mene, wow, what a shot. Again, rejected! Ronica Stone gets tightened up. They progress through that season, <laughs> and you cannot progress through that solo block in the middle for Cass Brown. Hi, Laura. D 
deep corner, and that was picked perfectly. Always great to see the young volleyball players here and everywhere else around the Pro Volleyball Federation. They have been treated to a clinical offensive performance from the league-leading vibe of 15-10 here in our third set and bidding for the sweep over a Fury team that dispatched them in four sets on Sunday. Out of the timeout, though, the service here by Las Areva. That's the right idea. Nice line shot by Coach Angel Perez. Happy with his timeout and a miss serve right after. Come rack that up for a coach's point. Yeah, put that on his tab. Ooh, good set. And Monterey <laughs> with a dime. <laughs> wow. Yella Hashiba putting it down. Monterey taking a spin set, turning her stomach toward that net, reversing it low and flat to keep it low. Yellow Hashiba taking through the seam to the deep shot. Yeah, boy, what a twisting set there by Monterey. Stringer <laughs> feeding Perovic, but that one is sent back by Yellow Hashiba. You know, in Spain, when you play with your teammates, when I played over there, you would say, Comatelo. Like, you're about to eat this. The ball's going <laughs> down so fast because there's no time to adjust on the cover. Beautiful block right there. That's, you're only allowed to trash talk with your teammates. That's it. Though. I like it. In volleyball, not across the net. 17-11. Vibe and another block. Yella Hashiva combining with Monterey. The, the blocking tonight for the Vibe has been on a different level, yes, and they are trying to put the Fury to sleep in the third. Being out blocked by Fury, that you, what you take personal, knowing you're the top blocking team in the league. That's a look back, walk it off Presley. That's my team right there. <laughs> Yossi Presley gave him the gas face there. Everybody fired up for the vibe. 18 to 11. Service here by member Mena. For Fury, it's all about finding offense. Can you create the runs? You have Asia O'Neill in the back row for looks like two more rotations. So you have to find right side with, excuse me, with Cooper on your outside. Find that with Perovic on your right side. Can you get some middle action going too? Edmund soaring up and swatting it down. One All smiles one. for Leah Edmund. I mean, you're one on one. Atlanta vibe stick and passes. The, when the middle is with your middle, they hold. You cause one on one opportunities toward the antenna. It starts with a good pass to hold the opposing middle then you can force it. Monterey's finding the open shot. Oh, and Allie Linehan now coming on for the first time. Finally got off IR, appeared in the Columbus match on Sunday. Got a couple of kills, three digs. Low flat set, unable to be chopped through by Jones. Edmund reaching for it. Leon, the bump set, and that one into the corner for a point. Panovic, well done. Coach Dashane is looking at the line like, are you sure? And Bolt 6 says, yes, sir, yeah. we are sure. It looked, it did look out, though. That, that amount of ball that was on, good thing you have great technology. Oh, my goodness. And it doesn't disrupt the flow of the match. 19-13 vibe. It's been a quiet night for Reagan Cooper. We saw some flashes in that first set. On the go behind, it's fanning once more. But you know, that's the thing, too. Defensively, it feels like the vibe have taken Reagan Cooper almost completely out of this match. He was somebody who had 24 points, 14 digs the other night at Nationwide Arena. They're matching up Lazareva with the strong outside. The change has, the rotationally has changed, shifted. 2013 vibe. Marsh Hackley has that stuffed. Hence. Monterey, Edmund yep. for the point. Oh, when you get the ball at the net and Monterey has the technique, it's a lean back dish out set. You, you hold the middle just with that technique. That's the seam, it's a hole. That's not even a seam. That's a huge hole because the setter Monterey held the middle. And a timeout for Angel Perez and the Fury. 21-13 vibe. In set number three, this has been a different tone that the Vibe have set coming off Sunday's loss, which stamped a five-match win streak, longest in the Pro Volleyball Federation this season. 
we were here for that sweep last week versus Orlando, and we discussed afterwards how clinical and complete that performance was versus the Valkyries. We're seeing every bit the same type of performance at Gas South Arena tonight from the Vibe. And you'd love to see that. Coach Dagenet said they watched video. They knew the shots. Can they execute it? That's what we'll discover. Vibe are executing at an elite level. You needed to learn those things. Sometimes when you lose a match, you bring things to light that you need to work on and train with. I think they, the adjustments have been made. The block party is existing, <laughs> and Vibe are just producing offense left and right. And in that four set loss, the Fury closed it out 25 23 in the four set. Prior to that, the Vibe Keely have been 13 0 this year in set decided by two points. I don't think they want to threaten with a two sets, a two point set for or against here tonight. 21 13 and out of the timeout. Sent across by Monterey. Edmund winds up, got it blocked. Jones over there with Perovic. That's how you come out of a timeout and solidify that your competitive spirit is there. Perovic with the setup, Jones with the close. Feeling that right there. Your matchup is still on the outside if you can get a good pass. Ortiz with an ace. <laughs> yes. I love a good cheer right there. Energy and fight. Do not sleep on this Fury team. Two aces. Your serving specialist comes in. Two aces on the night. Give her some high fives around that. Ivanya Ortiz. And then off speed over the block. Along the tape and down. Michelle Barsh Hackley. Starting to grow into the match in this third set. Coach Dazney is feeling happy with his lead, but just watching body language. If you don't get a good side out now, you got to think about a timeout just to yeah. reset. 21 16 as the Fury have ripped off three straight and another serve for Ortiz. Lacereva. Hence. Pops it high. Edmund can't put it down. Well covered in the back by Cooper. Barsh Hackley off speed. Lacereva slowed up by the net. Chance for the Fury to reload. Edmund takes a whack, gets it off hands, and the point for the vibe. Edmund so athletic. She was in on the dig and then turned out and ran a slide. Your outside hitter ran a slide. That's how athletic yeah. Edmund is, taking that off the hands long. Might have clipped some hands up top. Might have clipped Cooper in the back as well. 22-16 vibe. Monterey, quick set but blocked. <laughs> and who else? Yes. If you had to tab anyone for a solo block on that court, it would probably be number seven in red. You just take that personal because Fanning's been lighting it up. That same play in transition, it's a bit automatic. O'Neal steps over on that one, says, not in the third set. <laughs> Reigning Pro Volleyball Federation Player of the Week, Asia O'Neal hit 55% across two matches last week in her return from injury. Oh, and hammer down. I don't think Shelby Fanning was deterred on that block. Beautiful change of shots. Jumping away from the setter, still cuts it back to her right side. You saw O'Neal jump with her to the left. Open shot. Great job, Fanning. 23-17 and Fanning to serve. Leon ranges back for it. Monterey underneath it. Feeds La Sariva. Finds the seam and finds match point for the vibe. This is why you have to get your middles going some part of each set because that open, you saw Yelahashva go forward, reversing it back one on one with the seam. You got a kill by Lazareva. 24 17 vibe. Cooper stepping into it. Admin puts it down. And it's a sweep for the vibe. 
Keeley, vibe 25-16 in the first, 25-15 in the second, 25-17 in the third against a Fury team that knocked them off in four sets on Sunday. This vibe team looks scary tonight. 56% of the passes were in system, able to run an offense. 46 went down, percent went down as kills. Atlanta vibe looked strong on the offensive side. It started with the pass, and then the block party was in touch. 12 blocks on the night. Fury fought back, but just not enough because vibe was clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, hard to find a weakness in the performance tonight from the vibe, who now move to 10 and 4 on the season and will cinch up first place heading into the weekend. The Fury fall to 5 and 6 on a La Sariva leading the way for the Vibe. Vibes were high tonight inside Gas South Arena, and the league leaders played like it. That'll wrap up tonight's presentation of the Pro Volleyball Federation. So long from Atlanta, Andy Demetra, Keena Eveland. We'll see you next time.